Hi, this is uh, Chase Swift, and today I want to do a quick video about the Acrobat, um, actually Adobe web rooms that are um, available. And what I'm going to cover uh, is the pricing of those, and I'm going to show you the free room. So just go to Acrobat.com and click on pricing if you want to review this. What I'm going to do is show you the free trial version. It, it's really quite nice. And actually, I don't think you ever need to really upgrade. It's really nice. So what that gives you is the ability to have two participants, including yourself. So that's you and one other person. And it's totally free. And you can share screens. You can communicate in the web room with a headset. And it's absolutely free, absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to show you that in just a moment. The next level is having uh, five participants. And they price that out at $14.99 a month. Uh, not bad. Uh, there are some other web rooms that are less expensive, but once you learn on the Adobe, you may want to stay here. Okay. Finally, up to 20 participants. That is available for $39 a month. And certainly, uh, if you're going to do that, you want to make sure you have a team that regularly meets and stuff like that. So my suggestion is start with the free trial and just click the Try Now button. And when you do that, all you need is an email address, a password, confirm your password, first and last name, birth date, country, region, and then check whether you want to get an email and sign up. It's that easy. So what I've done is actually uh, created a web room and I'm going to show you that right now. So once you have the web room, this is how when you log in at acrobat.com, you will have the ability to launch your web room. What's really nice is when you log in, the link that appears is the link that you'll send to somebody in an email or a Skype message or instant chat, whatever, and they can join your web room. So I already have a test account I'm gonna, or a test user. I'm going to have that test user sign in. And what you'll see is that you will get a notification when somebody is joining your web room. Okay, it's uh, loading in just a moment. I'm using a separate computer to log in and so I can actually show you what's going to happen when someone logs in. Now you have notes such as maybe your phone number or email address or times that you're in the web room. You have a chat available so you can say hi to people. You even have the ability to turn on a uh, webcam and this is allowing me to turn on a webcam and right there I am in my webcam. Now I have test user, the person that might be coming to your web room and you can just click accept or decline obviously click accept you can also allow automatic automatic entry which makes it nice okay so now we have automatic entry and we have test user down in the bottom left what's really nice is um, they can you can say hi and greet them uh, initially through the chat and then they will respond too and say oh I can they can chat too so uh, they might say hello and this is the initial way you would communicate okay so there's the uh, chat now right up in the top here is a microphone you can share your mic and you'll actually see a little bit of modulation through there as the microphone uh, uh, is working and your other person can do that as well okay you can also uh, turn on your webcam or turn it off uh, this is the webcam feature and if you need to shut it off, you can just go right there. And if you need to turn it on, you just click Start My Camera. Very simple. And they will see you uh, so they can get to know you better and all that. The really cool thing is sharing your screen. And what you can do is just click that. And what you will see is an option to share your desktop. 99% of the time, that's what you do. I'm going to cancel and have um, my test users share their desktop so you can see that what you can do is guide them through uh, the setup of any orders that they need to make um, if they have any problems checking their email all sorts of things and you'll see that um, in this case we're showing someone how to maybe set up a, a Shackley order or navigate to the website you can also see with the steering wheel use um, the computers uh, the, the users mouse and control it for them so I'm going to do another video on here just to follow up on the other things you can do.